Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at the Fall Turf Festival at Gulfstream Park West. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. It is Sunday. We have 10 races to look at. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, turf course listed as good off first race on the turf. These are three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Eight runners going to the post. And they're up. For the inside, off gift begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Here's Paired moving to challenge. And up on the outside, no appreciation. Away fourth is Wisemaker. From the outside, High Bitter comes away racing fifth. Then it's four leaf feet. And in between horses, Duke of Ritchie. Miss Kit Mambo is last of all. It's such a slow early pace. Down the stretch for the first time, chasing the speed of the race time favorite, Off Gift. And Orlando Boca Chica, they call the shots by a length and a quarter. Racing second is paired, no appreciation on the outside third. Wisemaker much closer today, racing fourth within three of the lead. Then it's a length back to High Bitter, fifth in the early stages, a length in front of Duke of Ritchie. Four leaf feet and Paco Lopez second last and trailing the field is Miss Kit Mambo. They went through the opening quarter in 24 and 2. Down the back stretch they go. The two favorites are first and second. The leader is off gift a half a length. Paired and Prado in the two pass second. Wisemaker is third behind the speed under Luca Panici. A length better than a wall of horses, including Duke of Ritchie, who's on a mid race move. In between horses and no appreciation toward the hedge, that's high bidder. Then it's a length and a half to Miss Kip Mambo, and four leaf feet is still last of all. In touch, though, only about five lengths behind, as this will be a dash to the wire. They went through a half mile in 50 seconds flat and now they kick to the far turn. It's off gift in front by a half length. Paired makes a move to be second. Duke of Ritchie on the outside is now third. Wisemaker comes under a scrub fourth. Miss Kit Mambo from the back and four leaf feet and they run to the top of the stretch. It's off gift in front toward the outside. Paired takes a run at him second. Duke of Ritchie is third within two and a half of the lead and Wisemaker is fourth and they're at the top of the stretch. Off gift shaken up for the drive with Paired moving to him now second. Wisemaker and Duke of Ritchie battle it out third and fourth. Off gift almost home. Paired draws up alongside, but is not by yet. Off gift is digging. Paired is surging. Off gift. Paired coming to the wire. Heads apart. Paired on the outside surge at off gift to make it a photo in 146 and one. Number four, Paired gets the close photo and wins it for Panic Stable LLC, trained by Jane Savelli and ridden today by Edgar Prado. Race number two, six furlongs. These are made in Philly, two-year-olds. Scratch number four, Golden Throne. And they're up. Level beginning. From the outside, Choice Point wins the break and goes looking for the lead. Quickly up to challenge is Lucky Bella and down to the inside. The first time her Caroline's Comedy comes away in good shape. Caroline's Comedy puts ahead in front. Lucky Bella is there second. Choice Point is now third. Two and a half to Everything is Awesome who races fourth. And she's three lengths better than the gray. Mademoiselle Bell, New York Invader, last of the five as they pass the half mile pole. They went through the opening quarter in a robust 22 seconds flat. They're moving out here with Lucky Bella on the outside and Caroline's Comedy on the inside. They've moved three lengths ahead of Choice Point, who's racing along third. Racing fourth is Everything is Awesome, and it's still four to Mademoiselle Bell. They move past the 5 16th. Lucky Bella doing it easily. She moves away now by two. That's all for the first time starter, Caroline's Comedy. She retreats now. From the outside, Choice Point is getting underway. Everything is Awesome is up on the outside and still trailing as Mademoiselle Bell. After a 46 second half mile, Lucky Bella is the leader. Choice Point is second, five lengths in front of a weakening. Everything is Awesome to the outside. Mademoiselle Bell will try to catch her to complete the minors, but Lucky Bella has the lead, and at the 16th pole, it's just a matter of the margin. It's Lucky Bella for Eddie Broom and Jonathan Gonzalez to win the Sunday second by three lengths. Choice points second in front of Mademoiselle Bell, who finished third. Everything is awesome was fourth. Number five, Lucky Bella. Nice performance, owned and trained by Eddie Broom, ridden to victory today by Jonathan Gonzalez. We'll take a short break, be back for the third in just a couple of moments. Taking the lead, point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here, and point of entry, oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry, 
a five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sire's Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Watch world-class horse racing while dining on scrumptious world-class cuisine. Gulfstream Park features one of South Florida's most popular culinary destinations in Ten Palms. Located on the second floor of the clubhouse, Ten Palms features creative American dishes and daily specials overlooking beautiful Gulfstream Park. Enjoy delicious seafood and the finest in organic beef, whimsical desserts, and daily food and drink specials, all while taking in a breathtaking view of world-class racing. For a delicious afternoon of mouth-watering culinary delights, come to Gulfstream Park. Welcome back, our third race, one mile and one sixteenth on a good turf course. These are claimers, Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and upward. Eight runners are going to the post. And they're up. From the outside, Dance with Geo commences nicely. From the inside, Lucky Emperor showing speed. Vipera comes away in the top flight and keen to run on early as Daddy Loves Gold. As they move down the stretch for the first time, Daddy Loves Gold hooks up with Lucky Empress, who's on the inside. These two are two and a half lengths better than Vipera. Toward the inside, that's Wild Songstress. Taken in hand on the outside is Appella's Wonder in between horses Dance with Geo. Second last, she drives me wild, and at the back, the trailer, Starship Shawty. They race into the first turn and finally getting her way. Daddy Loves Gold throttles open under Marquez to lead it by two and a half lengths. Lucky Empress is there second. Wild Songstress Songr is now third. In between horses, Viper moves up a spot three wide as Appella's Wonder. Tucked in, dance with Gio under Joe Bravo about four and a half off the lead now. Then to the outside, Starship Shanti who tips three wide and trailing the field as she drives me wild. Opening quarter went in 24 seconds flat, and they went the half mile in 49 and 2. A breather in the second quarter for Daddy Loves Gold, who leads it a half a length. Moving up to her again is Lucky Empress while second in the two path. A length and a half in front of Vipera and Wild Songstress to the hedge. A length and a half more. Starship Shanti is improved. She's outside of Dance with Geo. Then she drives me wild, and Appella's Wonder is still last. And now the pace quickens. Less than three furlongs to go. They move to the top of the stretch after three quarters in 113 and 4. And toward the inside, Daddy. Daddy Loves Gold maintains a narrow lead. Toward the outside, Vipera in between them. It's Lucky Emperor. Starship Shanti is scrubbed on. Wild Songstress and Dance with Geo are next as Daddy Loves Gold. Straightens for the drive on top by a length and a quarter. She drives me wild. Coming up the inside with Wild Songstress. This is up for grabs down the outside. Starship Shanti. She drives me wild and Nunez is now coming on to challenge and take the lead down the outside. Starship Shanti. She drives me wild. Wins it a half a length. It's close for second. Wild Songstress or Starship Shawty. Number five, She Drives Me Wild, scores and pays a very nice $27.40. Owned by Susie and Pete Loperanos uh, Racing and uh, trained by Mike McDonald. Ridden to victory today by Eduardo Nunez. The fourth race, one mile and 70 yards. These are three-year-olds and up who have not won a race since May 23rd. The big favorite, number one, Speedy Bird. And they're up. Bit of an awkward beginning for Tango Kid. Toward the inside, Speedyberg begins the best alongside Tis Time Is Now. These two hook up from Tritonk, who comes away racing in third. It's two and a half lengths back to Exotic Wildcat. He's down inside while fourth, a length in front of Sir Sparky, who sets up shop in fifth, and about five lengths behind. These top flight horses have opened up four and a half lengths on Tango Kid. Then to the outside, Tell It Like It Is Coach and the Gray Senor Castrico, last of all, as they race around the opening turn. With the lead, it's Speedy Berg, but up on the outside, Tritonk applies pressure in second. Now moving up is Exotic Wildcat to take the lead from Speedy Berg second. Tritonk is third. Tis Time is now is shuffled to be fourth now, two and a half in front of Sir Sparky. He's getting a good run of it as the pace is quick, 23 and 3 for the opening quarter. Try Speedy Berg is the leader. On the outside, Exotic Wildcat takes it to him second. Tritonk third. Tis Time is now fourth. Sir Sparky fifth at the half mile with six lengths to raise. It's a distance of seven or eight lengths back to Tango Kid. Then to the outside, asked to quicken, tell it like it is, coach. And Senor Castrico has a long way to go with just three furlongs left to run. With the lead, it's Speedy Berg. He went a half mile at 47 and two. Stiff fractions here, but Speedy Berg on the dropping class gets away now by three. From the backfield, Sir Sparky is scrubbed on to gain. He'll soon be second. 
and he'll have five lengths to track down the leader. The leader is Speedy Berg. Three quarters, 113 flat in the wrap, the top of the stretch. Speedy Berg straightens for the drive under Osorio Jr. with a five-length lead. Toward the inside, Sir Sparky is making ground second. From the backfield, Senor Castrico is absolutely flying, but he's far too late to catch Speedy Berg. Speedy Berg is home and cooled out. It's Speedy Berg on the dropping class for Bruno Tesori and Jose Osorio Jr. They win like a three to five shot should by five lengths. Sir Sparky second, Senor Castrico third, Tango Kid finished fourth in 145 and two. Number one, Speedy Berg scores for owner Julian Tapajusco, trained by Bruno Tesori, ridden to victory today by apprentice Jose Osorio Jr. The fifth race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf. These are three-year-olds and upward. Jockey on the one is Rodney Sudin. Scratch the eight, get fast. Scratch the 11, El Grand Joyful. And they're up. From the inside, homegrown hero begins the best and goes looking for the lead. From the center, Kitten's Toy moves to challenge. Up on the outside, Oak Bluffs gets away in the top flight third early. Favorite catch moves up to apply pace pressure. He'll move up inside to be all the way up into second now in the run of the first turn. The leader is homegrown hero. Favorite catch and Kitten's Toy now second and third. It's a length and a half back to Master Achievement, who sets up from fourth to the outside Oak Bluffs is now fifth. And it's a length back on the wing taken in hand today. A length in front of Kitten and May between horses and third last. Second last is Franklin Park and the race time favorite Purr and Cat. Last of all as they bend down the backstretch. The opening quarter went in 23 and 4, and homegrown hero allowed to stretch his legs under Ramsey Zimmerman. He leads it by four. Kitten's Toy is there second. Toward the inside and third is favorite catch. Followed fourth by Oak Bluffs. Master achievement up the inside lane. Kitten and May is three wide. In between horses, that's on the wing. Two and a half to Purr and Cat, and Franklin Park is now last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn after a 47 and one half mile time. Homegrown hero trying to throw the knockout blow. Goes to the top of the stretch on a five length lead. From the backfield, here comes Kitten and May. Circles up four wide to challenge for second. Oak Bluffs is still right there in favor. Catch on the inside. On their way home after three quarters in one twelve and one Homegrown hero trying to get another eighth of a mile to the attack. Oak Bluffs and down the outside. Kitten and May continues to come on. Oak Bluffs now takes the lead. Ryder just dropped the reins there. He'll get it back. He has the lead. Kitten and May on the outside. Oak Bluffs will win it. Oak Bluffs and Gonsalves, three parts of a length. Kitten and May second. Photo for third. Homegrown hero or Purr and Cat in 131 and two. Number nine, Oak Bluffs. The jock drops the rain during the stretch one, but does not lose stride and scores for owner Patricia Generazio, trained by Terry Pompey, and the jockey was Leandro Gonsalves. We'll take a break. Be back in just a few moments. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Bessie Lou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back to sixth race, six furlongs. These are claimers, three-year-olds and upward. Scratch the two, Kinvara. Scratch the number four, Happy Runner. And Vera. From the outside, Classic Surge begins the best. Quickly up to challenge is Candy's Halo. But Classic Surge a bit quicker in the early stages from Candy's Halo, who is out sprinted second. Racing in third between horses is Newspaper Boy with Congrats Criminal alongside. Down to the inside, River Star. Then on the outside, to Leavenworth and trailing the field, Giacomo the Great. Candy's Halo allowed to find his feet. He now puts his head in front of Classic Surge after the opening quarter went in 22-2. and two. They kick to the far turn. They've opened up five lengths on Newspaper Boy. Then on the inside to River Star. Congrats Criminal is asked to quicken up in front of Giacomo the Great. And Leavenworth is last and the match race is on in earnest. They go to the 5 16 Candy's Halo by a head. On the outside, Classic Surge is second. Three and a half lengths back to Newspaper Boy. He continues to make ground from third. Four in front of Congrats Criminal. After a half mile and 45 and four, they're at the top of the stretch. Classic Surge, risk command from Candy's Halo. will have to deal with an outside charging Newspaper Boy, who's on the attack now with an eighth of a mile to go. With the lead, Classic Surge by a length. Newspaper Boy continues to chip away while second from the outside. Congrats Criminal now third. Classic Surge almost home. Newspaper Boy surging. Classic 
Classic surge digging in and hanging on. Newspaper boy second, congrats criminal third in front of Giacomo the Great fourth in 112 and one. Number nine, Classic Surge holds on the winner for IAB Stables, trained by Tamara Levy and ridden to victory today by Ramsey Zimmerman. Seventh race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are maiden three year olds and upward. Scratch number six, Madly May. Note, blinkers off number one, Sun Story. And they're up. Level beginning. From the center, have a good laugh is away alertly and reaching up for the early lead. Neo Classic is showing speed down toward the inside. Marketeer has foot and at the hedge, Sun Story. So as they link up with the main course now, Sun Story has the lead three parts of a length from Neo Classic who races in second. Taco Gem is well spotted inside for Juan Leva, third within two of the lead. Abundio is tugging, he's three wide. In between horses, Marketeer, Cup of Joe and Gaffleone dropping over to save some ground. Two and a half in front of Have a Good Laugh. Then it's another length and a half back, second last to Thunder and Willie. And trailing early, the trailer is Shawn Michael. The race around the opening turn. Now up top, leading the way. It's Neo Classic by two and a half. Sun Story taken in hand to be second. Toward the outside of Bundio, a joint third. To the inside, Taco Gem begins to improve a bit. Well, they've actually just gave Taco Gem a crack of the crop to get go clo closer. And uh, he moves through up on the inside now to be second. Meanwhile, Cup of Joe, the race time favorite, is waiting in the wings for Gaffleone, about five behind, with Marketeer up his inside. And it's a stretch of another six lengths to have a good laugh and Thunder and Willie. Shawn Michael is last. Past the half after a half mile in 47 and 4. They went the opening quarter in a sharp 23 and 1. And Neo Classic trying to bottom out the field. Leads it by three. Taco Gem has been under pressure for three eighths of a mile. Now here's the favorite, Cup of Joe. Warming to the task for Gaff Leone with four lengths to raise and a quarter of a mile to raise it. And Neo Classic threatens to get away. Neo Classic comes off the top of the turn on a five length lead. Cup of Joe has an eighth of a mile to track him down with Taco Gem third. Back fourth is Marketeer. Neo Classic is strong up top. Taco Gem is fighting for second on the outside. Cup of Joe is right alongside. Neo Classics in front. The strides are shortening, but the wire's coming, and Neo Classics hanging on. Taco Gem did very well to be second. He outran Cup of Joe, who was third. It's close for fourth. Marketeer or Thunder and Willie? 144 and two. And it's number four, Neo Classic, flaunting his speed to win it for Cross Sabres Farm LLC, trained by Marcus Vitale, ridden the victory today by Orlando Boca Chica.